we are supposed to find the uh, quadratic, the parabola that goes through these points. So that quadratic is going to come in that form a equal, uh, y equals a x squared plus bx plus c. And so we want to find the a, b, and c values here. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to plug in these points and get three different equations to solve for the three different variables. And so remember, points in the come in the form x, y. So when y is 14, x must be 2. So I have a times, uh, sorry about that. Oh, God, that's so bad. Sorry. Um, a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. And notice that that is the same as 2 squared is 4. So that would be 4a plus 2b plus c equals 14. And then uh, this one, when y is 16, x is 3. So 16 would equal a times x squared, x is 3, plus b times 3 plus c. So 3 squared is 9. So this would be 9a plus 3b plus c equals 16. And then lastly, uh, y is 14 when x is 5. So a would be 5 squared plus b times 5 plus c. 5 squared is 25, so 25a plus 5b plus c is equal to 14. So now I just basically have this uh, system to solve. I like to throw it into a matrix, so I'm going to do that. So I've got 4, 2, 1, 14, 9, 3, 1, 16, and 25, 5, 1, 14. And my 9 looks like an A. So I'll try and make it look a little more like a 9. Mock my up down, upside down 6 if you must. And I think that what I'll do is I'll make this a 0, make this a 0. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'll go uh, row 2 minus row 1, put it into row 2. So row 2 minus row 1, I'm going to put that into row 1. And to get rid of that one, I'm just going to go row 3 minus row 2 and put it in row 3. So I might as well write that down too. And then now I can just focus on my arithmetic. First row is not going to change. So 4, 2, 1, 14. And now uh, 9 minus 4, that's a 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, which I wanted to happen. 16 minus 4 is 2. And then to do this one, row 3 minus row 2, 25 minus 9, that's a 16. 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. Again, by design, 14 minus 6 is negative 2. So, got this far. So I think the next thing I'll do is I'll make a 0 here. And uh, I will do that by, by uh, I'll double this row 2 and I'll subtract it from row 3. So I'm going to go row 3 minus 2 times row 2. Darn it. Row 2. Write that a little bit neater, sorry. Uh, row 3 minus 2 times row 2. I'm going to put that into row 3. Boop, boop. Uh, row 1 remains as it was, which was not a 1. It was a 2. Row 2 is going to uh, stay as it was, 1, 0, 5, 1, 0, 2. And so then now let me think about this one. If I double row 2, this would be a 10. So 16 minus 10 is 6. Uh, 2 minus 2 is 0. I wanted that to happen. 0 minus 0 is 0. And then um, negative 2 minus 2 times negative 2. So this would be a negative 2 minus 4. So that's going to be a negative 6. Great. Now this is in a form where I can solve it. And I can see right here that 6a equals negative 6. So a must equal negative 1. So then from here, I can plug that into here and get this equation because I know that 5 times a is negative 1. Uh, plus b. Whoops. That's funny. Plus b must equal 2. Boy, I'm having pen trouble. Sorry. Uh, negative 5 plus b equals 2. Add 5, b7. So I've got a is negative 1 and b7. And then lastly, I just have to get that first term, and I'll get that a, and I'll get it from here. So I know that um, 4 times a plus 2 times b, b is 7, 
plus one times uh, OC. I already know A. I'm going to do that one over. So four times A, A is negative one, plus two times B, B is seven, plus one C equals 14. So negative four plus 14 plus C is 14. Uh, I'm going to add these things together. Uh, negative 4 plus 14 is 10. So C must be 4. So I know my A, B, and C value. So that means that Y must equal A is negative 1, so negative X squared. B is 7 plus 7X. C is 4 plus 4. There it is. Whew. Thanks for hanging in there.